So we did talk about the chromosomes. Each species has its own chromosomes, and the humans are diploid, which is in, uh, regarded in 2N, and the match sets of homologous pair. I'm not going to go through all of this because you, there's a slides about this which I've just shared today, and she's going to share with you. And uh, in terms of chromosome, this is how your your exam will be like this. No, nothing else. So how many chromosomes does a diploid cell have compared to a haploid cell? Either four times, one fourth, twice, one half. Today we only have an hour, so we're going to have to chop, 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 fast. What, which one do you think it is? I'm looking at the chat box here. Well, Ms. Sumay is tapping, you can also put some answers. It's not going to help much if I'm, I'm the one who's answering. So this will be A, B, C, D. You can just say, is it B, is it A, is it D? So the reason why I'm doing this, somebody says C. The reason why I'm doing this, I, I, I just want you to have an idea of what kind of a question it will come. It's, 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 it's definitely going to be something that you know, but the line of questioning, it can be very tricky and you need to be ready that your examiner might twist and randomize and just ask the same thing. You can ask this question more than four times in the same pattern. So somebody says, see, is it correct? Yes, it's correct. See where you have the, 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 the one half. What is inherited in a specific combination that determines the organism traits? Is it A proteins? Is it B cells? Is it C chromatids? Is it D genes? What is it? Anyone? What is being inherited? Somebody said D, which is genes. I think I agree. It is D. It's D. Thank you. Well done. So these are the kind of questions that you. So this is the kind of quiz that we were doing and we were exercising. It may not come in this format, but it can come with a format that you can say match the following. And then you might actually have to select and say D is rich and D is rich. So drag the words the correct boxes to compare the characteristic of human somatic cell to human gamete. Human somatic cell have mm, chromosome and including one, two, and also pets and pair of mm, sex chromosome. This is the mm, condition human garments have each of mm, unique chromosome. This is the mm, condition. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So you just have to tell me one. Is it what human somatic cell have one? Which one is one? So one human somatic cell have, let's go, one, what is it, one? 46, somebody said 46 chromosomes, including mm, mm, pass and so two and three will be. Human somatic cell have 46 chromosomes, including mm, mm, We only have, we're going to only spend three minutes on this one. How many? Homologous and non homologous. So, homologous, non homologous. Uh, pairs and anybody else and mm, pair of sex you don't have to to to, to you can give the the ones which are ahead you don't have to just only talk about this one so four will be one okay one, thank you. Pair of 
Mm, sex. Let's chop, let's chop it up, guys. Chop, 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 chop. Sex chromosome. This is the mm, condition. So, uh, diploid, you're saying diploid is what? Diploid is, is, is five. Sorry about that. Okay, five is 23. Somebody said five is 23. Then di diploid, I don't know where the, I'm supposed to put the, the, the. I don't know where diploid is supposed to go. This is the condition of human gametes of unique chromosome, the chromosome. Okay, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's why I say diploid. The diploid is seven. And six and eight. We are left with the haploid and 22. You're more than welcome to ask me to rearrange them if you want. Somebody says six is the haploid. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We rearrange the diploid. And I left with haploid and 22. Where do they go? Do they go to seven and eight? Remember, this may come in a two columns and you might have to match. Seven is 22. Haploid is, it, it goes away. Man, what's happening? Okay. Yeah, I can't. There we go. Let's check if you guess. It. Hmm, you guess only got eight out of ten. Eight out of eight. Let's show solutions. So Somatic cells are 46 chromosomes, including 22, not including homologous, 22 homologous, 22 homologous pairs, and one pair of, 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 of non-homologous sex chromosome. This is the, this is the diploid condition. Human gametes have each 23, not 22 unique chromosome. This is the haploid conditions. So this is the kind of questioning that you should expect. Julian works as a forensic scientist and it's analyzer. Remember in BLG 1501, you need to know what are the disciplines of science. Disciplines of science, what does the forensic scientist do? What does the biologist do? What does the ecologist do? How oh, is it different from what, what, what? And Julian works as a forensic scientist and is analyzing a DNA sample from a crime scene. Which set of chromosomes will he need to analyze in order to determine the sex of an individual who the DNA belongs to? And how will he know what sex they are? He will need to analyze the 23 pair of chromosome and he will be able to identify them as male if they have two homologous chromosome in that pair and if, as a female if they have an X and a Y chromosome in that pair or B he can be able to analyze any of the 23 pair of chromosome as they 
all will be either XX for female or XY for males. You will need C, you will need to look at the first pair of chromosome and he will know if they are female, if they have two X chromosome and if they are if male, if they have an X and a Y chromosome in that first pair. Or D, he will need to analyze the 23 pair of chromosome and he can identify them as male if they have Y chromosome in that pair. If they, there is no Y present, then the 23rd, somebody's already said it's D, somebody said it's already three. Can we have the third person as a decider? We have two different answers now. I can't decide. Somebody else has to decide. Unless if there's a third option, which is either three or D. Anyone? OK, let's check three. It's incorrect. The first pair of chromosome is more useful than the 21st, that the 20 sets of autosomes that are found in the human karyot. The 23 pair chromosome, however, is what is important in determining an individual sex because the 23rd pair of chromosome as our sex chromosome. Let's also check D, as it was stated. Is D fine? D is correct. So D is correct where sex chromosome are the 23rd pair of which are similar to X chromosome in females and, and X and, and Y in males. The other 22 pairs of chromosome are known as our autosome, hold many of our other genes, but are not responsible for determining the sex of an organ. Okay. I'm going to be moving very quickly. Also, the chromosome structure, we didn't talk about this. And I don't think you need to worry yourself much about this. And we're going to pass here. Allow me to pass the ones which are significant. The introduction of the cell cycle. Where we're going to talk about this. And we're going to pass. I'll let you know where. Even this one, we're going to pass. Then mitosis, talk about mitosis, where there's scarokinosis, which is also known as mitosis, which is divided into a series of phases. We will talk about the prophase, prophase, pro metaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. That is the result of figure one. Which one is figure one? The third figure one. The patient in figure one. My thing is not loading. What's happening with my internet? Yeah. All right. In figure one, still no figure one. Okay, I just you should believe that stages of mitosis. There, there are notes that I, I just shared with you, which we did on I think last week or a week before last week, where we we're talking about the divided into five stages of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Pictures at the bottom are taken by microscopy. Don't worry about that. And you don't need to worry about this diagram, but the, the, the stages of mitosis, where mitosis is an in incredible process with precise steps and regulation. Without mitosis, life wouldn't be impossible. However, the process can be seen a bit more complex. And you're going to have to, there will be also in those notes where you're going to have to differentiate between mitosis and meiosis. We're not going to dwell into these examples here. They don't provide the substance of that which you need to know. And then there's cytokinesis, which is significant. Where we did talk about this last week, where we we're talking about the cleavage of a furrow, contractile, contractile vehicle, a plant cell, Golgi vesicles. Where we talk about cytokinesis, identify the characteristics of cytokinesis will be the learning outcome. Where cytokinesis or cell motion is in the second main stage of the mitotic phase during which cell division is completed via the physical separation of cytoplasmic uh, composition of two duda cells. And you're going to have to go through. I cannot stress this enough. Please. 
Yes, yes, the notes are already, are already shared the notes, especially for this model. They are already she she will be able to send them maybe later on today or on 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 on, on Monday. I did, Miss Shumaya, right? I think I have I've, I've shared you an email, particularly for BLG 1502 earlier on today. I sent the slides for the past two, three weeks, I think, also. I have shared the, 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 the notes. Yes. And then we're going to do this. Which of the following statements is false in regards to cytokinesis? Cytokinesis in animal cell contractile rings in, in order to cleave the cell into two separate daughter cell, or B, in a plant cell, cytokinesis involves using Golgi vesicles to form a new cell wall when the cell membrane between the two daughter cell cytokinesis follow the same process in every eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell, or D, cytokinesis is the last step of cell division. Which one do you think it is? Somebody said two, let's see. Let's check. Incorrect. The statement is true. Plant cells are well, as well as other prokaryotic cells, warm from new cell warm in porous in portion of cell membrane during cytokinesis. So the cytokinesis in anybody else? I'm just checking. I don't know. Even this one is not correct. Also, four is not correct, which means there is one and three which are correct. So, cytokinesis follow the same process as every eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell. So, this is emanating for when you're studying. Please, please, those notes for prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells should serve as your basic core of your, of your notes. You need to be able to early to which ones is related to eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cells. There's a place where I want to go to. Uh, no, this one you don't need to worry about. Then cell division. Cell division is important. Cell division, we're going to talk about cell division. is a very important process in growth and development, as well as tissue maintenance and repair. It is also a highly through regulated process in which most of the cell division process is termed interface and consists of all the preparatory work necessary for the cell to divide. We can make measure the amount of the DNA and protein in a cell to determine the phase of the cell cycle as it is. And you don't need to worry about these questions. The only thing that I just wanted to show you is that what cell division is. DNA in a cell nucleus is sustained in flora. No, you don't need to worry about this. No need to worry about this kind of questioning. Then, and like I've said in the previous sessions, although your questions are going to be coming as multiple questions, it is of a big paramount importance that you are able to 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 define and know the terminologies. Like in 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 in, in Chalamodamus, the adult is haploid. In the mod, so go through all those cycles. Remember, we went through the most the cycle of the sporophyte to the fence, the life cycle of the mosses when we're doing also about the fungi. All of those questions, all of those slides, they're gonna repeat them one way or the other in a multiple choice question. And which of the following statement is incorrect in contrast to Dico standard? For although here there's no question. Uh, the stem of vascular bundles is scattered through the stem. I'm going through very quickly because we only have an hour today. Sorry about that if I'm too fast. And uh, an example of connective tissue is the blood. And the connective tissue has relatively few cells and a large amount of extracellular matrix. Uh, regeneration of growth of the lost body parts normally flows through fragmentation and also which features do feng share with all other land plants last week i think the previous weeks we were talking about the land plants and all this this is where it's also significant 
he is going to randomize them and you one way or the other you're going to have to find them so please go through all those stuff which part of the flowering path develop into a uh, fleshy fruit is the offer i think we had one from the quiz where we did about this one scientific uh, discipline concern with the naming of organism is called binomial nomenclature nomenclature that we we're doing in the past and the gram stain procedure that microbiologists use to infer structures of bacterial wall and bacterial response to antibiotics. Which of the following statements of plants is absent in the closest relative of the charophytes, and therefore the structure will be, or the certain statement will be, the alternation of generations. The correct se sequence from the most to the least comprehensive of the taxonomic level listed is kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. And please don't listen to the question whenever you are faced with the question, because it does not necessarily mean that the list has to be species. If he give characteristic of five, here the list, if he removed the species, if the species is not there and he ended genus, the list will be the genus. And whenever when they are asking you to give the chronological arrangement, not necessarily the chronological arrangement, listen to what they are saying. Is it from the list or is to the highest or is from the highest to the list? So don't just have memorize the fact that it starts from kingdom, phylum class, order, family, genus, and species. Also, try to check out the question or what is it that they are requesting you to give from which ascending order. Then land plants no longer require water as a medium for reproduction with evolution of the seed and pollen. Which of the following are found in seeds, plants, it will be all of them. I think we did this even last week. There was a quiz about this. So please, I'll just share the quiz with Ms. Shumaya. So when you go through all those uh, quiz, go through all of them and make sure that you don't just only memorize this pass or quiz that we did, but you also extrapolate it with your notes and be able to, to understand and have an understanding that if a question could be could be revised, you are able to, to, to answer that question. And the body is capable of catabolizing many substances as sources of energy, which the following, which of the following will be used as energy source only after the depletion of what, although they didn't include others and is ir 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 irrelevant to put, point out this question because you only gonna have to know the others. And while we didn't do about this, which sequence of the blood flow can be observed either of a reptile or mama, it will be from vena, cava, right atrium, and ventricle, and pulmonary circuit. And I'm just going to go to the ones that we haven't done. Which of these most common compound in a cell wall of gram positive? Bacteria, then there will be petit logan, petit logan. And for scientific names, I don't know how it can be like, but there's also going to be, you need to be able to understand these terminologies because a multiple choice question could be, say, an organ give the what is the, an organism that is capable of both heterotrophy and photosynthesis and they give various amount and then you're gonna have to know that is mysotrophy the innermost layer of the cortex in the plant roots a cylinder one cell thick that forms the boundary between the context and the vascular cylinder will be endodemis, the use of living organism to detoxify and restore polluted and degraded ecosystem will be bioremediation, bio bio the oval producing reproductive organ of a flower consisting of a stigma style and an ovary will therefore be a carpel 
a group of plants like protists that is most likely related to plants will be charophytes. It's there in your notes, the notes that we go through. I think in the first session or second or third, we did talk about the, 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 the charophytes. A type of membrane enclosed nucleus and a membrane enclosed organelle will be a cell, a eukaryotic cell. The fluid outside the thylakoids is be a chloroplast. The use of living organisms to detoxify and to restore polluted and degraded ecosystem. What would that be? Then a long cellular protein protuberance that deliver the sperm to the female gametophyte will be a pollen tube. The transfer of pollen from anther to stigma will be pollination. The joint evolution of two interacting species, each in response to selection imposed by the other will be core evolution. The creation of offsprings by the fission of haploid gametes to form a zygote, which is diploid, will be sexual reproduction. The male gamete will be sperm and a sexual reproduction in which individual ants from outgrowth of existing ones will be budding. A sexual reproduction in which body break into several pieces, some or develop into incomplete adults will therefore be fragmentation. So you're going to have to go through all of that. And the other questions, although it may not be in a form of saying throw a table or tabulate in such a format and explain, but these are the kind of questions that he can bring. And you might actually have to know this in terms that he can just bring a structure and you can have to say the ones which belong to colonchyma and the one which belong to parenchyma. So this one here, you are comparing the parenchyma and colonchyma with regards to the structure, composition of the cell wall functions, position in plants. So a lot of questions like we were seeing in BLG 1501 earlier on when we were doing the multiple questions. I really need you to know the structure outcomes of the of the of whatever that you're talking about and the functions of some organelles. Are you saying flagella? What is the function of flagella? What is the function of parenchyma? What is the function of colonchyma? That's when you can be able to understand and be able to to answer some 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 questions like the structure of the composition of cell wall in parenchyma, the inflexible primary walls most like secondary walls, and for colon chymage that the elongated cells, the thicker primary walls, walls are evenly thickened. And the function of parenchyma would be to for, perform most of the metabolic function, store the starch, they store the starch, and the function of colon chyma will be provide flexible support without restraining growth, help support the young parts of the plant, plant shoot. And the position in the plants is that parenchyma cells are found in the stems and in the roots and young stems and petioles and name the hormones of the hormones the hormones of the gonads adrenal gland and penal gland would there be androgens which is a terrestrial i think we did this in the first session or the first second week oestrogen prostagins and for the adrenaline gland the hormones will be the epinephrine i'm butchering the words here norepine okay this <laughs> this uh, hormone these are the hormones and the glucotides which is costal and mineral cortids which is the adolesterone and the penal gland, gland the hormone will be melatonin hormone and also the other things that you need to know this is I, I this I think I've shared this in one of the notes. This is the where if he brought the multiple choice question because even myself I struggle here to 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 find a very distinctive between the two when we talk about the conduction, which is the direct or of the th direct transfer of thermal motion heat between molecules of object in contact with each other as for example when lizard sits in the rock so 
like the, the, that's the trick. Which one of the following is not part of them? Of the con, con, con conduction or the confession or recognition or match the following terms for the conduction, conversion, radiation, and evaporation. And you will think that uh, for evaporation, I got it. What is the evaporation? The evaporation is the removal of heat from the surface of liquid that is losing some of its molecule as gas. Radiation is the emission of electromagnetic waves by all objects warmer than absolutely zero. For example, a lizard absorbs heat radiating from that distant sun, which radiates from 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 zero for, from 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 smaller amount of energy surrounding the air. Or the other way that the multiple choice question could come, they could give you and say a lizard, a lizard absorb heat radiating from the distant sun and radiates a smaller amount of energy to the surrounding air. And they said this is an example of either conduction, conversion, radiation, or evaporation. You will have to know which one is the example. So these are the kind of things that you need to, to be aware of. And we did talk uh, homeostasis. You're not going to avoid it. You need to know what homeostasis is. Refer referring to the maintenance of internal balance in achieving homeostasis in animal, maintain a relatively constant internal environment, even when the external environment changes significantly. For example, human body maintain fairly constant temperature of about 37 degrees and a pH of the blood and interstitial fluid within 0 0.1 pH unit of 7.4. So you're going to have to know for both BLG1501 and BLG1502, you're not going to avoid a question which will include homeostasis. So please, 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 however, make sure to understand and however, make sure comfortable enough to be able to kind of state and, uh, and, 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 and explain what homeostasis is. Do that and know that. Then, Distinguish between antigens and antibodies. This will help you. We did this, I remember, in one of the notes that we did. This will help you in some of the questions also when they are either asking about the antigen. I did mention earlier on that one of the best strategies, it may work for me, and it works for many people. I've heard about many people when we're talking. I remember I was once a student as well. Okay, I'm still a student. Uh, you, you, in order for you to, 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 to handle a multiple choice question, one of the good strategies is by first eliminating the, the answers that you think that they are wrong. That's the first thing that you, you do. So antigen will be cell that el elicit a response from a B cell to a T cell. Antibody will be the binding of an antigen receptor to an antigen is an early step in the B cell activation, leading to formation of cell that secret soluble form of receptor, and this is secreted in protein in antibodies. Distinguish between regulators and conformers in terms of homeostasis. In animal, an animal is a regulator for a particular environment variable if it uses internal mechanism to control to control internal change in the face of fluctuation. That's when an animal is called a regulator. Then animal is a conformer for a particular environment variable if it allows its internal condition to change in accordance to what? To external changes. I still remember, I think in week two or three, when we're talking about this, when we're saying an animal conform to the changes which are happening and, and in, 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 in an external environment, but a regulator, particularly he uses internal mechanism to control the changes uh -huh. in, the, in, in the environment. Then also this is one of the important, this is what we did not cover, but in as far as in the previous past question papers, what will come is the type of roots modified roots and their functions. Modified roots that are prop roots, storage roots, area roots, buttress roots, and phenomatophores. So you can have to know about this. When you get a hold of this, please go through this and make sure that you know about the types of modified roots. 
so that if they come and give you and say the modif the function of support all top heavy trees is the function of prop roots, storage roots, aerial roots, buttress roots, or or the post final to matter of post, you will be able to indicate and know that it is a function of a storage route. Prop roots, they support tall, top heavy trees. Storage roots store food and water in their roots. Aerial roots seeds germinate in the branches of tall trees of other species and send numerous aerials to the ground. Buttress roots, aerial roots that look like buttress, such as the sea tree in Central America, give a, a, a architectural support to obtain oxygen. And for monitor pores by protecting the water surface, they enable the root system to obtain oxygen. Also, they are in those long format uh, 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 questions, not question study guides that also I think you are provided with the first one that we see in the first one. Also, there are characteristics common to all land plants, which are apical, meristem, multicellular, dependent on embryo alternation of generation. So this is where you can see. You can see here, they can just say which one is not part of the, which one is not common to all land plants. And they will put apilan, multicellular dependent, and instead of alteration generation, they put something else. I don't know what, but they put something else. And you're gonna have to know that the one characteristics which are common to all land are this, and you are should be able to identify the ones which are not part of the common characteristics of all land plants. Characteristics that define land plants are pecal meristem, wall spores, uh, uh, alteration of gener generation, multicellular, commensia, multicellular, dependent on embryo. And this is the key. Also, the comparison between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the, 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 the membrane enclosed organelle, Golgi apparatus, lysosome, and perisosome, plasma membrane, cytosol is present, is present, is pre is plasma membrane is present. So, this kind of diagram, I think I once share one of you, this, I think in week three, week four, I believe, which shows like this. It helps to inner questions like, I remember in previous session earlier on today, they will be saying which one is present in prokaryotic and is not present in, pro in, in eukaryotic. Or they will just say which one is not present in the other, or is not or which one is not common in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. And then you have to, there was a question like this, membrane enclosed. Membrane enclosed is present only in eukaryotic cell, but it's absent in, in, in prokaryotic. Golgi apparatus is present in eukaryotic, but it's absent in, 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 in prokaryotic. Lysosome, they are pre and perisosome, they are present in what? In eukaryotic, but they are absent. So, 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 and you're gonna have to check that the ones which are common in everyone, plasma membrane, they're both in, 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 in eukaryotic and in prokaryotic. So, and similarity between plants and green algae, we talk about algae sometimes, both as eukaryotic cell, both carry out photosynthesis, cell wall made of cellulose, chloroplasts with chlorophyll A and B, distinguish between radial and bilateral cementary, radial cementary for any imaginary slice through the central axis divides the animal into mirror images. For example, the sea animal does not have a left side of the and the right side. So, so, so this kind of examples, you're gonna have to go through all of them because they are the ones that they use as a heading for you to give answers and to choose from. So you're gonna have to be smart. You're gonna have to have something that have to remind you that this is an example of radical cemetery. And for bilateral cemetery, it is when only one imaginary card devices divides the animal into mirror images in half, e.g. lobster and the left and the right side. I name the three subphyla of the phylum codata and give example of each euro codata, cellapho codata, vertebrata. Example for vertebrata it will be hagfish. Example for 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 cellapho codata 
which is Lancelot, will be ambitious, and the one for 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 Euro Codita will be C squared, and then you you will have to see how is it that they could be able to extract a question from that. Four characteristics of Codita will be a notochord, dorsal hollow nerve, paryngeal slits, and muscular post anal tail. Explain how a photosynthesis happens. Like this is a procedure that most of you hear. You you you. This is one of the things that you are not ready to sit in an exam if you don't know about how photosynthesis harvest light. You're going to have to talk about this process. And this is the process in which some question may come here. And if the question about multiple choice question is in relation to photosynthesis, you have to bang it. You have to know it because you know that photosynthesis is composed of a reaction center complex surrounded by the several light harvesting complexes and so forth when you are going for Then also the other one which is very important about the algae, 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 whatever, however you pronounce it, we did talk about this, where you're going to have to talk about the advantages are rich in proteins, minerals, nutrients, and can be used as fertilizers for better crop. The disadvantage for that one would be algae sometimes block sunlight from reaching aquatic plants and resulting in their death. Another advantage will be different kinds of algae is used in medication, cosmetic, livestock, feed and for pollution. Aquatic animals benefit from algae as they provide food. So they are a source of food in the aquatic animals for microorganisms on which the fish, the fish can feed on. So they, they support a food chain there of fish including. Provide shade to the aquatic animals living in the ponds and also enriches water with oxygen. And the other disadvantage will be higher algae cause the death of aquatic animals animals due to strangulation. The process of deriving biofuel from algae is expensive and cannot be taken advantage of. And it kills environmental beauty as the ponds covered in algae and dead and algae. So they can just they can just say which 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 part of this is a characteristics of of algae. And then you might have to take one of these. And then you will have to, 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 to select the characters that you have seen here. The, 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 the distinguish between open and closed circulatory system and give an example of animal in which they call in three components. When all of these, please go through this. You don't have to worry about the, 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 the drawing. The uh, taxonomy and the naming of scientific name, no one is a free max for that one. It's a it's a free max. It's a free max. You're gonna have to 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 know what they're talking about. Last week we did a revision of this about the ecological importance of fungi. Well, we're talking about fungi as decomposers, fungi as plant mutation, and fungi as animal mutualism and lichens. So make sure if they put some thing else and say ecological importance which ones of these are part of the ecological importance you will know which ones are the ecological importance not only on a surface level as decomposers finally or plant mutations or animal mutation or lichens but you also know the explanation of those uh, importance of 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 those ecological importance and there's a differentiation between monocolitidons and dicotyledonous so we did this i think two weeks back when we're differentiating the, the these differences and uh, who knows they can come back mixing them up and or they can just come back with both of these they add something which is not i tell you when you know 
that the difference is that there is a one cotyl tagon, two cotyl tagon, and veins parallel, veins not like vascular tissue, scattered vascular tissue. They could come with one which are mixed up or one which is wrong. They could say on mono, they could say vascular tissue in a ring, and on the dicot, they could say vascular tissue scattered. And they ask which one it's incorrectly paired difference. And you're going to have to select that the one which is incorrectly paired is B or D or in whatever position that they may be positioned at. So please go through all of that. Yeah, I think other than that, I did share some notes for BLG 1502. I will also add these ones for today. And yes, if there is no other question, all the best. Please, please study very hard and listen to the question.